Hello children, welcome to EduSat English Teleteaching program. My dear children, today we are going to discuss the second part of the priceless gift of your class 9 textbook. So, before going to discuss the next part, let us have a recapitulation of the previous class what we have already discussed. Let us see what we discussed in the last session. So, the priceless gift part 1 and we have discussed two SCPs, right, sense group paragraphs. First SCP and we have discussed the first meeting of the writer with the girl in the restaurant and his eagerness to know about the girl. So, the writer meets the girl and the situation of the girl that creates interest and eagerness in the mind of the writer to know about the identification of the girl. And we also discussed the writer meets the girl for the second time, the second meeting of the writer with the girl in the restaurant and their conversation. So, today we are going to discuss the next part may be the third meeting or the visit of the writer in the girl's house, right, what happens and whether the writer will visit the girl and know a lot of things about the girl. Let us go to the text. Now, you see the text and listen to me. Soon we approached their neighborhood, we had reached a narrow doorway. Maggie took a thin latch key out of her pocket and opened the door. She entered and said, please come in. Together we descended the stairs to the kitchen. Mother said Maggie from the doorway, an Indian gentleman has come to see you. So, now you see a few new words for you, you just see approached and the meaning is came nearer. So, soon we came nearer their neighborhood, neighborhood you see neighborhood the word neighborhood meaning is community or surroundings. I mean, so, soon we reached here we means the writer and the girl. They reached nearer their neighborhood and we had reached a narrow doorway, then they reached a narrow doorway, doorway you know. Uh, Maki took a thin latch key, latch key, you see, right, latch key, lock key. We open with the lock key, right, and uh, what happened? They reached there, Maggie opened the door and she entered and said, Please come in. So she invited Maggie, invited the writer uh, into the room. And together we descended, descended you see, right. And please remember the meaning moved down, right. So, the home was da, uh, under the down, that means uh, uh, somehow it was uh, under another floor. And we descended the stairs underground, right, underground house. So, we descended the stairs to the kitchen. So, the stairs were to the kitchen where Maggie's mother was there. And Maggie said, Mother, an Indian gentleman has come to see you, right. So, this is the paragraph, and let us go to the next part. Mother said, Where is he? The old man asked eagerly with a smile. I stepped into the kitchen behind Maggie. She introduced us. How do you do? I said and held out my hand. Excuse me, my hands are covered with floor. I am making cakes people will come to buy them this evening and this is the way we make our living lots of trouble. So, my dear children you see. So, where is he? The old man asked eagerly. So, when the old man heard Maggie said an Indian gentleman has, had come, then uh, the old lady she was very much eager to see and then Maggie introduced us and the old man said, how do you do? How do you do? This is uh, a greeting. When we say good morning, how do you do? And the response is, how do you do? I mean, good morning, kohile response is good morning. I mean, good evening, kohile good evening. I mean, how do you do? Kohiba? How are you? I mean, how do you do? Tara response is, I mean, how are you? 
now we are fine or we are good uh, how do you do means the response is how do you do how do you do jetale pacharibo jane ame kahiba how do you do puni repetition but focus on or more emphasis on you do right and the lady said excuse me my hands are covered with floor i am making cakes and the lady was making cakes and people will come to buy them this evening them here the cakes right this is the way we make our living with lots of trouble so writer understands that a lots of trouble or a lot of difficulties were there family difficulties were there right and saturday night is a time of festivity in poor neighborhoods all kinds of things are sold on this night the streets are more crowded than any other day this is the day when they are able to spend a little from their weekly wages so you can find new words festivity and the meaning is festivity means celebration or merry making mane maja karanti khushi bas karanti mane right so saturday night is a time of festivity as we have already discussed saturday is the payday they are workers most of them were workers and that's why they receive money they get money they find money and that's why they enjoy that saturday right and all kinds of things are sold on this night right so saturday is a celeb night for celebration and magis mother was making cakes and they will sell the cakes and the people the neighborhood people they will buy these cakes and they will enjoy right this is how they were living right so let's go to the questions scp3 this is scp3 we have already completed we completed uh, two scps in the previous class let's go to the question number 1 you see my dear children did maggie take the writer home you know we have already discussed right yes right the next question what was maggie's mother doing so the maggie's mother who was a old lady and who was a widow who was a widowed lady what she was doing she was making cakes right and question number 3 why was she making cakes she was making cakes to sell in the evening right yes next question how did they make their living they made their living by making cakes and selling to people right and next question question number 5 why saturday uh, of festivity in their neighborhood saturday is the day of festivity in their neighborhood because you see that's a pay day and all things are sold uh, streets are crowded spend little the people the workers they spend little money from their weekly wages so they enjoy and they happily they cheerfully they enjoy the night right question number 6 so she usually takes the village road she means here maggie the little the young girl the poor girl so she usually takes the village road but why did not she take this road that day jodino writer ng sange jautila se dino she kai village road ne jai ke onyo road rastar jai thila right and the answer is the road was being repaired so the village road was being repaired that's why both of them they walked through the bridge right and why did maggie carry the key and open the door herself without asking her mother to open the door right and the answer is the mother was actually making cakes and maggie had the key the last key was with maggie not with her mother so when maggie returned the key was with her that's why maggie opened the door right let's go to scp4 and this is part 2 so now my dear children we completed part 1 and part 1 consists of three scps three parts sub parts i have already told you in the previous class i told you the entire story has been divided into four parts but for your better understanding easy reading i have divided into seven scps so we now we completed two scps in the previous class now we completed one scp now you see scp number 4 what kind of country is india sir 
asked Mistress Bethy as she resumed her cooking. A beautiful country, safe to live in. Are not there too many snakes and tigers? Do not they kill people? This type of question has often been asked. Do not believe that snakes and tigers are killed by the people if they come to close. Right. So, you see what kind of country is India sir? So, asked mistress Bethy as she resumed her cooking, you see resumed a new word, right. Look at the meaning, continued. So, as she continued, as she began making the cake once again, ago she writer jito pohon chile se koru thile, pitha koru thile, emo stopped, tapur again continued, that is what we say resumed. Once she, she stopped, then she started, she began to make cake once again, right. So, uh, Maggie's mother uh, continued uh, again making uh, cakes. Here, mother asks, a beautiful country, is it safe to live in? Question mark is there, right. Are not there too many snakes and tigers? Do not they kill people? These are some of the questions which uh, came to the mind of the old lady. And this type of question has often been asked. That means, Ma Sobhubele Ebhuliya Prasna Pocha Chandik Puo Bhau Dinela Perini. His son has not returned to home for a long period. That is why many uh, things, many thoughts, different types of dangerous thoughts come to the mind of the mother, right. And that is why uh, do not believe that snakes and tigers killed by the people if they come too close, right. Let us go to the next part, my son is in the Punjab, he is a soldier, what kind of place is the Punjab? The Punjab is a fine place, it is a very healthy place to live in, I am glad to hear it. Mistress Pethi said, her baking was finished, Maggie, she said, take Mr. Gupta upstairs, I will wash my hands and drink tea, right. So, you see, my son is in now the lady talks about her son. My son is in the Punjab, Punjab, the Punjab, the Punjab you see, usually here the is used the article, because uh, the Punjab uh, that consisted of some uh, places and that was called the Punjab, right. So, he is a soldier and the profession of his son is, uh, he was a soldier and what kind of place is the Punjab, mother asks this type of question, right. The Punjab is a fine place, it is a beautiful healthy place to live in, I am glad to hear it. Mistress Bethy said, uh, her baking was finished and then Maggie she said, take Gupta, she asked Gupta to take upstairs, right. And mother said, I will wash my hands and uh, you please bring tea, we will have tea, we will drink tea, right. As we drank tea, I talked about India, Mistress Bethy showed me a photograph of her son, it had been kept very neatly in, a, in an envelope by the mother. His name was Frankie, Maggie said Mr. Pethi, show Mr. Gupta the ring which your brother sent you. She bought it and asked, can you see the past and future in it? I took it and examined it. So, two things, they started drinking tea, they talked themselves and the old lady, mother of Frankie, Mr. Pethi showed the photograph and asked her daughter. Maggie to show the ring, right? And she brought she brought the bought it and asked, "Can you see the past and future in it?" So the lady had strong faith that uh, when someone looks at the ring, uh, he can see the future and past on it, right? And the writer examined it, right? When Frankie said the ring, Mr. Bethy said he wrote that if you concentrate on a distant person as you gaze into it, you will be able to see him and what he is doing. We have not heard any news from Frankie for a long time, but we have not been able to see anything. Why do not you try? You are an Indian, you may be able to do it. I did not have the heart to tell the mother and daughter that the ring was nothing much, not a miraculous thing from a distant land, how could I shatter their dream? So, let us see the meaning of some new words. So, now you children you see the word concentrate and the meaning of the word is 
थिंक अबाउट क्लोजली पुट माइंड टू जोटा कि आम गोटे मन को लगे टू पुट आवर माइंड दैट इज व्हाट वी से कंसेंट्रेट कंसेंट्रेशन राइट राइट एंड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इन दिस फैसिज यू कैन फाइंड मिराकुलस मिराकुलस इज ए व्हाट यू सी द मीनिंग वेरी वंडरफुल अमेजिंग सरप्राइजिंग राइट थिंग दैट इज व्हाट वी से मिराकुलस राइट सो लेट अस डिस्कस व्हेन फ्रैंकी सेंट द रिंग Mr. Smith said he wrote that if you concentrate, if you put your mind on a distant person, if you think about, think closely about a person, and you gaze into it, you will be able to see him and what he is doing. You can find right. So the ring which uh, uh, Mr. Smith and uh, Maggie showed to the writer, they said you can if you look at this ring, you can if you gaze this. Uh, ring gets into it then you can find the person who is uh, uh, in a distant place and you can also see what the person is doing but we have not been able to see anything the magis brother franky said this right wrote this but unfortunately they are not showing they are not able to show their or the uh, uh, mother son or maggie is unable to see his brother that's why uh, mother mistress pethi asked the writer you please see you please examine why don't you try you are an indian you may be able to do it i did not have the heart to tell the mother and daughter that the ring was nothing much not a miraculous so the writer knows actually franky franky prakrutare kohitila eta ta ko bujhaiya pai kintu tar kichi miraculous nathila semti kichi jadu nathila ta bitre right kintu ek kotha राइटर कही पारे ना दि रईटर कुड नट एक्सप्रेस हिज ओन फिलिंग बिफोर द मदर एंड द सिस्टर राइट अबाउट फ्रैंकी लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन एस सी पी फोर क्वेश्चन वन यू सी ह्वाट डज मिस्ट्रेस बेथी थिंक अफ इंडिया सो मिस्ट्रेस बेथी थिंक अफ इंडिया दैट इंडिया इज अनसेफ कंट्री फुल अफ स्नेक्स एंड टाइगर्स एंड टाइगर स्नेक्स दे कैन किल एनी बडी दैट वाज the thought in the mind of mr spethi because her son was in india and did not return for a long time he did not send any letter to her mother or to her sister for a long time that's why mother uh, thought like this india is unsafe to stay that is a place full of snakes and tigers so my dear children let's go to question number 2 are her views about india correct right no right and where does her son work and what is he she kut thila kut kam kut thila kon kam kut thile a soldier and in the punjab right he was a soldier in the punjab right and question number 4 what is his name you see his name was franky right so in the story in franky's family there were three members franky his sister maggie and his mother whose father was dead mistress bethy right so next question what is special about the ring that franky sent right see mudire kon special thila the special thing is that one can see a distant person in it if one looks at the ring and thinks about the person that was the special thing which franky said franky told his mother and sister right next question 6 question number 6 is it true that one can see a distant person in it if one looks at the ring and thinks about the person right and the answer is you see no this is not a miraculous ring you cannot see right that was only for consolation question number 7 did the writer know that this was not true why did not he tell this to mr spethi right and the answer is you see yes the writer knows that this was not true you cannot see this right and only the writer did not tell this did not express his own feeling because he did not want them to make them sad he wanted them to make them happy 
right and next paragraph several months passed i visited maggi and mr sbethi but no news had come from funky mrs bethi was sick in a serious condition aggravated by her anxiety for funky i was in a fix what could i say to console the mother only god knew whether funky was still alive or dead mr gupta the girl said my mother has not been ill like this so after several months the writer visited maggi and the condition aggravated you see aggravated right and the meaning is increased very became very serious very worse and the console you see the meaning is express sympathy right santona dawa so the mother was very ill very serious and magi wanted the writer to console him right i have read in books that indians love the truth if you could bring yourself to tell mother only once after looking into the crystal that franky is all right that he is alive will it be much a lie much of a lie will it be very wrong i thought it over i am not very virtuous man so i decided to do this the list of my offenses right so magi requested the writer to say that he can see or he could see the his son and he was alive but this will not be seen actually magi ma khushi hoba pai bahut seriously ill thile se tenu magi requested the writer to tell a lie right and you see magi brought me the ring i took it and approached her mother's side approached went near wishing her a good morning i said mrs bethi your son is alive mudiki dekhile sang sange writer kouchundi yes your son is alive right so he is well the old man raised her head a little off the pillow tears of happiness welled up in her eyes mr spethi soon recovered you see the new words right welled up welled up flow tears of happiness khushi re jetole writer jete kahi dile je puwa bhal re achi manchi chi kichu asubidha nahi when the writer said he is alive he is well so tears of happiness welled up flowed out of his eyes out of her eyes on mr pethi soon recovered recovered you see cured they came well right and let's go to the questions when did the writer visit with his house for the second time yes the answer is after several months the next question why did mr pethi more worried because no news had come from funky right so mr pethi was very much worried and why was her sickness aggravated right and the answer is due to her anxiety for franky se pura puri bicholit hoi jaitile udvig no thile right why did maggi want the writer to tell a lie because to make her mother happy and for early recover right and did the writer keep her request how yes for recovery mr spethi from her illness right what did he say looking at the ring right he said franky was alive his son was alive he was well and did maggi's mother recover from her illness how yes you see yes to know that her son was alive he became cured so my dear children let's sum of what we discussed right today we discussed one scp from part 2 and another from part 3 so we discussed three scps part 1 last scp and part 2 one scp two scps and part 3 one scp in these three parts we discussed the writer visits maggi's house and meets her mother and experiences right the family situation he feels that how or the family was full of sorrows and sufferings and we also discussed there was a conversation there was a talk between maggi's mother and the writer about franky's ring about the photograph and the third thing we discussed in the third scp the writer visits maggi's house for the third time second time and mr bessi was very ill and maggi requested the writer to tell a lie that he should say that her brother was alive and the writer told her mother that the 
son was alive, thank you was alive and mother got cured, mother became very much happy. So, dear students, thank you very much. We will discuss the next part in the next session.